So then we made our way over to the beach uh, for some surfing lessons. Now this was kind of strange for me and crazy because I can't swim. Not only do I not know how to swim, I've never been surfing before. First, Will told me to put this uh, strange looking suit on. Surprisingly, I was able to stretch it all the way out. Will's probably mad at me right now because he probably can't ever use his suit again. Okay, kicking the Caucasian. We're here with our surfing expert, Will. Um, he's going to teach me some, some pre-surfing exercises before I hop into the water. Well, before you even get in the water, you gotta take a look at the, the waves, right? So you take a look out and you can see when the sets roll in, you're looking for sets of waves. They're sets of larger waves as they roll in. And those are the waves that you really want to look for. Those are the ones that you're going to be catching. There's two main types of currents. One is called the rip current, which sucks out to sea. And another one is called a longshore current, which goes all the way up and down the shore. A couple of terminology, there's the face of the wave. That's the, where you're going to be riding. The lip of the wave is the top. The curl of the wave is right where it's breaking and then there's the white water. You want to be right in the curl where the wave is breaking. You want to catch it just before it breaks. And in order to do that, you have to match the speed of the wave. So go ahead and lay it down. And what you do is, you're paddling, right? You're paddling, paddling, paddling. And okay. then when you feel the wave, you can do a push up, and then move your front foot forward. There you go. Yeah. When you stand up, you want your back foot over the fins and your front foot up there, exactly. You want to be low, like exactly like that. See how your heel is on one side of the stringer and your toes are on the other side of the stringer? That's where you want to be. You want to stand up right on the center of the board. So another key component of surfing is uh, swimming. How good are you? Are you an okay swimmer? Uh, well. Put it this way, the last time I swam, I almost drowned in seven feet of water. We'll, so. we'll do our best for you not to die today. Yeah. Thank no, you. No drowning, Thank all right? You. Another thing too, man, if you fall and you're getting tossed around in the wave, don't panic. It'll let you go at some point and you just pop up. Now this is pretty hard to do when you are afraid of water. When I went out there, the water was up to probably like my chest. They try to tell you, don't panic if you don't know how to swim or when you out there. But when you got the whole earth full of water coming out there towards you, and you ain't really that good of a swimmer, it's kind of hard not to panic. It was a lot to kind of take in like right away. You know, I had to learn how to swim and surf at the same time. As y'all can see already, I almost drowned on that big wave. We ain't even started surfing yet. I just tried to brush up on my swimming. I ingested some water already. The waves weigh way more than I do right now. Pray for me, y'all. Hopefully, your boy JB will get through this. No quitter. But this some bullshit. That's too far for me. That's too far for me. You know, he's swimming out there with the professional. Not really my thing, you know? Now see how he even fell in right there? If I fell like that, Somebody better come get me. Oh, I didn't have enough of 
But first, I'm kicking the Caucasian today. Y'all saw me do my thing, or at least try to. Guess me next time, I'm kicking the Caucasian while I'm doing something else besides this right here.